We start tonight at a ceremony in Jefferson County. A special organization came together to protect the men and women who protect and serve our communities. Dominic Garcia, live in Edgewater tonight. Forrest and Dom, some of those police officers are sporting new life-saving gear. Karen, Jim, all together, 20 officers and deputies got that new gear. Four here from Edgewater, and for a small department like this, that is a big deal. We got these plates, the rifle plates themselves. It may be a few days after Christmas. And this is rated um, at a higher level to deflect up to a 45 caliber round. But for Edgewater police officer Bob Brink, these are gifts worth waiting for. For any active shooter situation that we get into, this is paramount for us. He was one of 20 people who got gear from the nonprofit Shield 616, gear that would otherwise cost several thousand dollars. Over the years, officers have purchased them themselves, but it's really taken a burden on their, their income. Most officers in the field wear what's called a soft vest. Important, but it cannot stop rifle rounds. These can. When you talk to people out in the community, are, are they surprised you don't already have some of this stuff? Yeah, quite honestly, they are. Bob says it gives him the confidence he needs to do his job. With my wife, my kids, I want to be safe at work so I can go home to them at night. Something Sarah France thinks about all too often. And then this carries the trauma kit that he'll have on him. She's a dispatch supervisor for Jefferson County, and her husband is a deputy. It's a good thing because I always know where he is, um, so that's good. But also having to send him to those calls is not the easiest thing to do. This new gear will give her some more peace of mind because when it comes to her husband's job... Putting their lives in danger without question for complete strangers. So Shield 616 wants to make sure that everyone in law enforcement in Colorado has this gear. They only have 9,000 more people to go, and they are not stopping. For more information on how you can help, just visit our website at cbsdenver.com. In Edgewater, Dominic Garcia, covering Colorado First. All right, Dominic, thank you.